The first time I saw Lawrence Lee, I wondered, who is this guy with a frothy white shock of hair and beard ranting like a madman about art and making so much sense? Doesn't he realize that making sense of the art world also makes enemies? <laughs> it turns out that he does, but he simply doesn't care. It's what happens when you have confidence in yourself and in your work. It also helps that at 73 years old, you're still successful in a contemporary art career that spans 40 years. Lawrence Lee started out as a canvas painter, and decades later he evolved to become a sought-after digital artist. Several of Lawrence's crypto art pieces are in one of the most highly respected NFT collections in the world. The Metapurse collection is owned by the two guys who bought the $69 million Beeple. As soon as I saw Lawrence, I knew I had to meet this whisperer of shaman art secrets. I also knew I wanted to work with him and help bring this unique vision of art and NFT to the attention of serious art collectors. So grab a drink and a chair and listen in. The big thing that NFT is doing is validating digital art and that is going to change the world. I've been astonished at the rate of change, as has everybody. It has been very significant in the art world since about the year 2000. Everybody is having to realign. Many of my old collectors have been collecting my work for decades. I think it's just going to be a couple of years before they begin to recognize the wonderful opportunities that are presented to them uh, because of this digital technology. A lot of people, and I've noticed this over 40 years, collect not only art, they collect artists. So they want to know uh, how, the, how the artist uh, came to uh, choose the subject matter for which they are, uh, usually uh, for which they are famous. It's both really easy and really difficult because you can connect with anybody online, uh, you know, with audio, video chat, the, the, uh, the opportunities are almost endless, but there is a, a real difference between being able to uh, meet someone in a chat room or in a 3D space and, and establish a relationship there uh, versus uh, being able to meet somebody and shake their hand, uh, get an idea of uh, oh whether they like to drink their uh, whiskey neat or uh, they, you know have a margarita. You can learn a lot about a person by what they're drinking. <laughs>